This is a GE transistor radio model P805 and this is the circuit board for that radio and I'm going to use a digital scope to look at different places in the circuit and to do that I have the wiring diagram here and using that information I'll be able to pick a few places to look at and here is a diagram for that radio and the first place I'm going to look at is the collector of the first transistor then I'm going to take a look at the emitter of the second transistor and the reason for that is if you take a look at the collector it goes over to a coil and then to ground so it's pretty much grounded although there is quite a bit of energy being transferred from the primary to the secondary and of course the output of the secondary goes over to the third transistor and we'll take a look at the collector of it and then the secondary of that IF, I'm going to look at it right there before the diode, and then we're going to take a look at it after the diode. And that part goes to the volume control. Then we'll take a look at the collector of the first audio amplifier, and then of course we're going to take a look at the output of the audio transistor that drives the output transformer which of course drives an earphone or a speaker. Here's point one and what we're looking at here is the oscillator along with the station frequency that I have it tuned to. Here you can see it's not a a pretty sine wave and that's because there's two signals there here's point two and we've got more than one frequency there but we're now being tuned to 455 KC This is point three. As you can see, it's quite a bit stronger. So I'm going to lower the sensitivity. And the scope probe, by the way, is on times ten. So that looks like modulated 455. Now we're going to point four, and we have modulated 455, the secondary. Going to increase that a little bit so we can see it. Now at point five, we've got audio. Now I'm going to lower the frequency on the scope so we can better see that audio. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now the probe is going to be put on point six and can't really see much so I'm going to change the probe from times 10 to times 1, which I did just there. And now we can see the audio. Now I put the probe back on times 10, and now we're going to take a look at 7. 
and we've got quite an output there. So I'm going to lower the sensitivity of the scope so we can see the audio. I have supplied a link to this JPEG of the points that I used along with the results of the scope. For instance, here's one and it says that the test probe was on times 10. And there's two, three, four, five, six, and the test probe was on times one, and here's seven. So you can download this information and take a look at each test point. Thanks for watching.